Okay, so let's learn how to make a new project in Quark Express. To do this, we'll go up to the File and down to New, and you can see we have some different options to choose from, such as creating not only a project, but we can also cr open projects from other tickets or create libraries or even entire books. But for what we're going to be doing, the basic thing to choose is for a new project. So clicking on that will give us our New Project dialog box. In this, you can give your project a name, so let's call this one Test Layout. From here, you can choose a layout type. Cork Express, especially the newer versions, allow not only for print layouts, but also web, so you can create web pages, or interactive layouts for using things such as the iPad or um, iPhone, different types of interactive things. You can choose a single layout mode, which would be created just for using uh, single pages, or you can choose multiple, but for now we're just going to keep it at a print layout. From here you can choose your paper size, and there are some pre-made sizes, such as the letter 8.5 by 11, or different European sizes, or the tabloid, which is 11 by 17. Uh, or you can type in a custom size of width and height in the next two dialog um, spaces. And you can also change the orientation. Right now it's uh, at a vertical portrait, or if you swap it to landscape, notice that the height and width will swap also. For now, I'm just going to keep it at portrait. If we'll go over to our margin guidelines, you can set up certain page margins that will appear on every page that you create. Right now I have margins at, set at half an inch for the top, bottom, left, and right of every page that I create. But let me change up some just to show you what it would look like. Let's say I wanted the left and right margins to be 0.25 inches, quarter of an inch on the left and right side. Some additional things you can have um, when we get into this are facing pages, and I'll tell you more about that. Facing pages is like if you looked at a magazine it, when you create a uh, document layout, there will be pages that face each other when uh, you fold up your book. So it's like, think of it as book layout. But if you wanted to have them where it's just one page after another, like you would a PDF layout or maybe uh, handouts that you give, you'd want to keep this off, uh, unchecked and turned off. Additionally, there's automatic text box, which will create a text box to allow you to add text to every page that you create. And some additional things are the column guidelines. We're not going to worry about this today, but if you wanted to create multiple columns of text, this is where you could refine that. Once you type in all the, uh, the information for your new document setup, we'll click OK. And here you'll see we have a new document that's laid out. I know we can't see it all at once, but notice that the top margins have a quarter, I'm sorry, half of an inch, and the bottom margin is half of an inch. The, the blue lines you see are the margins and the left and right sides are a quarter of an inch and so that's because we set that up when we created a new uh, document and that's how you set up a new document in Cork Express if you ever need to check or change the layout of your page you can simply go up to layout and go down to layout properties and this will bring back up your documents layout properties from here you can change up the height and width or the orientation or even the facing pages option of the document you've created. I'm going to hit cancel and we'll move on to actually getting some of the nuts and bolts of creating a Cork Express layout.